Well, I'll start with the today's game and the tournament. Um, we, uh, our team, I think, uh, might have a little bit shortened the tank, uh, emptied the tank out, trying to uh, put ourselves in position to win a, a regular season Sunbelt title. Uh, our kids looked a little bit fatigued uh, this week. And uh, Grant Bennett, Lucas Brown, our two starting pitchers who had basically carried us to that opportunity to get to the uh, title run. Uh, didn't throw particularly well this week. Uh, offensively, uh, we looked to be kind of waking up and uh, getting a few more balls off the bat than we had in the last month or so. Uh, so I, I credit Arlington and uh, Lafayette with uh, swinging the bats very well in the two games that we played, uh, really stretched the games out didn't allow us to really uh, have an opportunity to win those two ball games. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was glad to see uh, our, our little freshman shortstop, Matt Sanders, uh, kind of return to where he started, started his college career early in the season, really swinging the bat well. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's a little different feeling this year. It's always a disappointing feeling when you're when you lose the last game and uh, there's really only one team that doesn't lose the last game uh, of a college baseball season and that's the national champion so uh, the years that you do it's a uh, it's a disappointing feeling but this year for me uh, I really appreciate our team and how hard they fought uh, we started out our season seven and two and then went in the tank uh, we were 0-4 in the league, just gotten beaten badly here at home on Friday night against Georgia Southern uh, when we got the thing turned around. And uh, once we got it turned around, we played pretty good, especially at home. And I was really proud of our team, uh, the young men on our team, for kind of stick hanging in there. Um, because you tell them as a coach, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, but until they experience that downside, you don't know how they're going to respond to that. And they uh, they fought back like champions. They put themselves in a good position down the stretch to have a chance to uh, potentially win uh, the Sunbelt Conference regular season. Uh, and so as I reflect on the season as a whole, uh, I really appreciate that resiliency and uh, perseverance of our team to hang in there and, and get, get the ship sailing back in the right direction. Uh, as far as coaching my last team, uh, I said early in the year, uh, and I'll say it again today, uh, I couldn't be more proud to have coached this team because of the quality of the young men that I coached. Uh, a lot of great character young men uh, on, on this year's team, which made it a lot of fun going out. Um, and I've had a lot of great teams, and I've coached a lot of great kids, uh, but this is one of the finest group uh, that I've coached and I'm, I'm really appreciative of that so um, it's been a great journey uh, 33 years um, I appreciate uh, all the teams that I've coached all the players that I've coached with and against it seemed only fitting that uh, that Tony and I played in my last game because we've had so many great battles through the years in the Sunbelt Conference uh, and I really really do respect uh, the way he coaches his team and what they're, they stand for and how they play the game uh, very competitively, but do it the right way. Uh, so even in a loss, I really appreciate and respect uh, and, and feel blessed to have had the opportunity to coach uh, against Tony Robichaud one final time. Um, I don't know. Cat's got my tongue now. Any questions? I guess, I guess if you could pick one word to describe your final season uh, one word to describe the final season, probably one word, one only, overwhelming. And I'll pick that word uh, because, like I said, of the kids I got to coach this year, they were fabulous. And uh, Troy University, the athletic department, all the coaches I've coached with, coached against, former players, fans, family, uh, everybody from every corner, the, the, 
the letters written, the emails, the phone calls, the, the gatherings, uh, the celebrations, um, all were things that at the time I wasn't really comfortable with. I'm, I'm not big into all that. I just like to coach the game. But as I kind of look back and try to embrace those moments, um, I just felt a sense of overwhelmed gratitude for, for all of those people. Um, and uh, this season was full of that. If you had one message to, to tell the uh, Trojan fans and family, uh, what would that be? That would be, uh, I, I feel extremely be blessed uh, and fortunate to have spent my final 13 years here. I, I've enjoyed all my stops along the way, the 33 years. Um, I've worked for a lot of great people, coached with a lot of great coaches, and coached a lot of great players. Uh, but the 13-year run here at Troy almost doubled the length of time I had been anywhere else, and, and I don't think that's uh, by coincidence. I think that's got something to do with um, my enjoyment at working uh, for working at Troy University, my family enjoying the Troy community, and uh, so it's just gratitude, and uh, we, we we think it's a real blessing that we ended up here. Uh, we actually came here because both my wife and I's parents were uh, getting elderly, and they were in the Panhandle of Florida. This was closer to home. The opportunity presented itself, um, so we we made that choice for personal, career, and, and uh, family reasons, and it ended up being a, a great, great choice for us. Any emotions during that ninth inning, uh, during the game? Or well, I've had so many of those uh, recently. We, we had a big uh, former player gathering in our first home series of the year because we had several guys in pro ball that weren't going to be able to be here in the final time, so there was a a really large, nice crowd then that was pretty emotional for me. Uh, we had the day uh, where I passed Coach Riddle's record for wins at Troy University, and I wasn't, I, I, I really wasn't looking forward to that, didn't really want any part of that because of my admiration for him. Uh, but that ended up being a great day um, when uh, Coach Riddle's wife and daughters and grandson who works for us was here and we all got to embrace that moment so that kind of turned that for me I really uh, it ended up being a great day uh, and, and then um, uh, we had a great celebration in our final home weekend against Georgia State uh, before the game and then a post game celebration where the room was packed with former players and family and friends and so I've just been, I've been overwhelmed for a month now. And uh, today was more of the same, um, but I've kind of got through a little bit of that, um, the, the feeling of, uh, uh, you know, tears coming to my eyes. And, and I have to hold them back still, but, but I've had a lot of that this season. I really appreciate uh, the coaches that I've coached against, both in the league and outside the league. Um, recognizing um, the fact that we we try to coach our teams hard but we try to play the game you know the right way with integrity and um, you know all the special handshakes hugs letters uh, showing an appreciation for the way you did the job that it's got nothing to do with winning and losing championships it's just the way you coach the team and uh, so all of it for me is uh, it's been, uh, I appreciate it so much, and, and I don't know, the word overwhelming kind of keeps coming back to me, but it's an appreciation for, for all of that, the recognition of, of that. What's it like to be able to turn uh, the program over to a long-time assistant? Well, you know, I, I think it's absolutely great the way our uh, university and athletic department leadership uh, went about this transition. It's great for uh, Coach Smart, who's been with me, and I don't think I would have had the success I had here without him. I really don't. 
So to hand it over to him, who uh, played on two national championship teams here with Coach Riddle, it's in the Troy Baseball Hall of Fame. Um, his family's invested in Troy and, and uh, Troy University and, and Trojan Baseball. Uh, there's a lot of good coaches out there. I've said this before. There's a lot of good coaches out there. The job would have probably attracted a, a nice pool of really good coaches. But there's only one coach that's really earned and deserves the next opportunity here. And I felt like that was uh, Mark Smart. And so um, I'm, I, I'm truly grateful that he said yes to me and, and came on this journey with me. And I'm truly grateful that he, he's going to be the next head coach because I, I feel like that's the guy that's going to try to continue building on the foundation uh, that we've built over the last 13 years. Any further questions? One more. Will we see you in the stands? What's next for Bobby Pierce? With what? what? What's next for you? Oh, uh, well, what's next is I promised my wife, who's done this 30-year baseball journey, that I would go where she wanted to go. So we'll live at the beach. We're closing Tuesday. Uh, but, yeah, it's only a couple hours away. We'll be here in the stands for the Trojans. Home.